Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're talking about how you could play Cruisin' for a Bruisin' from Teen Beach Movie by Ross Lynch. And we're going to start off in reposition. We're going to end up capoing this on second fret. We're going to start on an A major chord. And when we play A major, first finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and the third finger on the B string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds like A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And we're basically going to stay on the A major actually for our intro. And then when we start our verse, we end up doing the A major four times. And then we go to a D major chord. And when we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the A, G, B, and E, then that sounds a D major chord. And it sounds really, really happy. And then from the, the D major in our verses, we're going to go to an A major chord. And then we kind of have a couple of places where we just kind of do hits, where we can kind of do a kind of an A with a down, kill it. So I'm kind of doing a down, kind of taking my right hand and kind of killing the string. But a lot of times with a song like this, to kind of fill it in, I, I, I like to, to, to use something called the strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this, and we'll talk about a couple other different ways you could do it too, using some blues licks. But one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A and just tried that a lot. You had down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 down. very very end it's almost like a verse tag actually where we kind of throw in some extra chords and we go to an E major chord and when we play an E major first finger is going to go to the G string on the first fret second finger on the A string on the second fret and the third finger on the D string on the second fret and you strum all those together that sounds an E major chord and it sounds really really happy and then from the E major chord on that tag we go to D major and then we kind of do another one of those A's with kind of the big hit so we try through that second part of the verse we got A with a down 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 Get back up. A down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, and then from there, we'd be going into our chorus part, which is kind of a variation on that same form, kind of a 12-bar blues idea. So we got A with a down, down, up, up, down, bay, 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 down, down, up, up, down, now for myself though, what feels really, really good to work with these are some things called blues licks. And for instance, and I think this is easier to kind of handle with just the E, e lick or, the, or what you could kind of substitute in for an E major chord. And basically you take your first finger and put them on the A string on the second fret. And you can kind of take your right hand and do a down up over the E and the A strings together. And then take your third finger and go to the A string on the fourth fret and kind of do that same down up idea. So I'm kind of doing down it with the first finger on the second fret, down it with third finger on the, on the fourth fret. So together I call that the E lick. You're kind of going down, up, 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 just on two strings. So it's kind of working a two string strum idea. And I call that the E lick. And two of those actually can substitute for one of our down, down, up, up, down ups. So we have E, two, three, four. It's kind of a measure of the E. Well, if you took that idea and kind of put your first finger on the D string instead, you could kind of work that same idea on the A and the D string. So kind of working two string strums on the A and D. I call that the A lick. So I got one, one, three, three, one, one, three, three. And then if you kind of take your first finger and go to the G string on the second fret, you can really do that same idea on the G string, kind of working the D and the G strings for a D lick. So this is a little weird, but if we try that through our verse, we could have the A lick.
and then we pick it back up on the A, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, A, one, two, three, four, A, one, two, three, four, and then we have a E leg, one, two, three, four, D leg, two, three, four, and then the A stop time. And I know with the recording though, that's going to go really fast. And one thing you could do actually is kind of, you just kind of cheat that a little bit. I say cheat, but this actually sounds really cool. Is to kind of do one, one, three, one, or as finger wise, like with, with, with your A licks and, and E licks. So you can start with the A loop, kind of doing one, 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 three, one, one. So lifting the third finger just a hair early on that last time. try to add with that too is if you take the flat of your right hand and kind of put it down on top of the saddle you can kind of get a muted quality out of the string and that could be kind of a cool thing to play around with too um, so if we, if we tried kind of that idea through our chorus form we have a Now the weird part is to play along with Ross, <laughs> instead of starting on an A major chord, he's actually starting on a B major chord. So what you want to do to play along with Ross is take, take a capo, and you put the capo on 2nd fret, then now your A major is really a B major chord, your D major is really an E major chord, and your E major is really an F sharp major chord. But just to take it from the very, very beginning that way, there is kind of that intro, and I, I don't know if it actually happens actually in the music video or, or in the movie, but but it, it kind of starts out on an A major where you could just kind of vamp on the A, and you could do that with a down, down, up, up, down, up, just like we were talking about. Down, down, To our first verse. So we could do that with just our down, down, up, up, down, just to try it. We have A with down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 Our, our chorus, we could do that with the down, down, up, up, down. So we tried that way. We have A with down, down, up, up, down, B with the down, down, up, up, down, B with the down, down, up, up, down, B with the down, down, up, up, down, B with down, down, up, up, down, B 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 down, hit. Or you could do that with your licks and you have A licks, A, 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 D, D, A, A, E, D, A, H. Now when we go into our next verse though, it's almost kind of a cool little hit idea kind of thing where you could kind of do just a down on the A to kind of kick it off and kind of do the down hit. And then there's some cool little bass licks in the background where you could play third fret on the low E string and then go to fourth fret on the low E string. And then you could kind of do the A hit again. So it's kind of an A, A hit, G, G sharp, A hit, G, G sharp, A hit. But then when you're going to the D chord, you could kind of do that same idea but on a different string. So you could go to the A string third fret and kind of use 3rd fret and 4th fret to lead into your D chord hit. And then you could go back to kind of that 3, 4 on the low E string for the A hit. So if we tried it that way, we kind of have the A hit, 3, 4, A hit, 3, 4, D hit, 3, 4, A hit, and then A hit, 3, 4, A hit. 
Three, four, D hit. Three, four, A hit. But then you might want to open it back up for the E with the down, down, up, down, D, down, down, up, down, up, A hit, or where that buildup is. Now, something else I would think about adding to the song, too, actually, is bass notes. And a lot of times on the very first down of, of that you're doing it in the down, down, up, up, down, if you're doing it that way, you could kind of fill it in with a bass note. So on the A major, you could play the A string for your bass and then keep your down, up, up, down, up. So you could have A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down. And on the D chord, you have the D string for your bass. So D bass, down. We'd have A with an A bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down, up, up, down, do the D bass down, up, up, down, do the D bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down, up, up, down, do the low E bass down, up, up, down, do the D bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down, up, up, down. Now there's some hits through that though, like through that particular chorus. So if you want to just work it, it's just kind of down hits, or kind of listen for like down, down hits, or even work kind of some of the A's at the very end actually is kind of kind of a down, 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 kind of as a build up, or even one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you might want to kind of experiment with some different ways to do that. And then from there, then we end up going into our solo part. And on our solo, actually, we'll, we'll be kind of, kind of following uh, almost like our verse form, actually. Kind of, kind of doing the A four times, D two times, and then back to A twice, A four times, D twice, and then back to A. So we tried that with the blues licks again, just to go over those. We'd have A licks, A. throwing that three four into your lick to lead into the, 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 the a licks actually just to kind of try this on the solo part and when you're about to go to the d chord you can actually kind of use that three and four to kind of lead into the d lick d licks d licks a licks a so you got a licks or you can even kind of throw in that three four to kind of kind of work that out, out. and then three four d licks <laughs> so we want to kind of play around with that, that's kind of an interesting idea. And then through that solo, actually there's some really, really cool solo parts actually. If you want to kind of play around with a little bit of the lead guitar part or, or jamming over the top of it, you can use something called a B minor pentatonic scale. And I say that because the B, B minor actually is kind of the, 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 the pentatonic scale or the minor pentatonic scale that would work over a B blues, which is what we're actually doing because we're capoing on the second fret. So if you wanted to kind of play around with this, a cool scale to play around with is a pentatonic scale. And you can kind of start seventh fret, and I'm thinking real frets now. So seventh fret on the low E string. And then you have tenth fret on the low E string. And then seven on the A, ninth fret on the A, seven on the D, not on the D, seven on the G, not on the G, seven on the B, and then ten on the B, and then seven on the high E, and then ten on the high E string. So maybe kind of cool just to kind of make up and, and stuff with, with that scale and kind of see what you can say with it. It can sound really bluesy. And a lot of things that you could do with that scale, actually, you could work hammer-ons where you kind of play the first note and kind of let your finger kind of fall down on top of the string to get the sound to carry. So that could be like a little word you could say. Um, or you could work pull-offs where you kind of play the, 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 the other finger and let it fall off to, 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 to the other. So now I'm going to dig in 10th fret on the high E and let it fall off the string to 7th fret. So kind of playing the pick on just the first note, and that's called pull off. Or you can work slide ideas where you kind of play the note and kind of keep enough pressure on the string to kind of get the note to slide over to the next note of the scale. Or you can work blues or blue or bends actually, which sound really bluesy and actually would really match this song. Where you kind of press up and into the guitar at the same time. Or you can kind of put those things together and kind of see what kind of words you can say. Sometimes it can be kind of cool to fill in those those notes in between, kind of kind of filling in the other notes of the scale. So you know, you may want to kind of play around with that. And then after the solo, then we go into kind of an ah for our bridge.
bridge, and all that bridge is all on E major. So you could kind of do it with just your down, down, up, up, down, up, and we kind of have a hit at the, on an E at the end. So we got E with down, down, up, up, down, up, E down. Work that with your blues licks. A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E A E Tried that with our bass notes. We'd have A with an A bass down, down B 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 with an A bass down, or you could be doing that with your blues licks and have the A licks, A licks. Myself, if I was playing it out, I would think about going crazy. Doing downups, and then doing a big A hit at the end, because that'll make people clap. But that's the basics of how you could strum through cruising for bruising with Ross Lynch. So good luck.